I swear to God, guys, never have to go to college. You know why? You will end up extremely stressed out and feeling sharp pains in your chest, like I have been going through. Hey, guys, this is My Profile is Great, um, MPIG as the abbreviation, the acronym, as I would like to call it. I think MPIG, that just sounds so awesome. That sounds like a superhero name. But anyways, I have been extremely stressed out lately. Uh, stressed out to an extreme extent where it's just sort of almost taken over my existence, where I, like, crave escapism. Oh, uh, it's midterms, basically. Right now, I'm taking a number of classes, which I wouldn't care to really go into too much detail about, because I always love to keep my personal life kind of separate from my YouTube life. Just a little bit, you know, I don't want to start bitching about teachers and students and stuff, because, you know, someday I want to have a career somewhere, and I don't want them to go through my YouTube and be like, hey, all this guy does is bitch about people in real life. Because, you know, I run into people like that on YouTube all the time, and I can't help but think, wow, you can't, like, separate yourself from that. I mean, for me, YouTube is a means of expressing ideas. It's a, it's a medium for pretty much letting yourself go. But there's such a thing as letting yourself go too much. Like, if I were to, like, suddenly have suicidal tendencies, which I don't, by the way. I have never had suicidal tendencies. But if I were, I am certainly not going to vlog about it on YouTube, except for that one point when I had that little girlfriend there and I made a little blog post that was the creepiest thing, perhaps, in the entire world, where it was like, Hey, guys, this is my profile. It's great. God, I love this girl. I love her so much. But thankfully, that's been deleted, and it was on another profile a very long time ago, so nobody has to hear that creepy, creepy, creepy stuff. Man, I was in a delusional phase at that t time. I think I was comfortably numb, as Pink Floyd would say. But right now, my God, let's go back to the stress. I've Lack of sleep, I think. I've been staying up really late, working on assignments, working on basically just trying to keep myself sane while working on all these midterms and these study guides. And the problem with keeping yourself sane is that you're going to end up staying up all night then. Because you can either, you can have these two options. It's either you can just have a normal day of all studying, or you can stay up all night and manage to fit in enough of the little geeky stuff that, you know, manages to make my life richer and more fulfilled, in my opinion. I'm sorry, people who, like, honestly don't think that anime is a wonderful, enriching thing. I personally think it is. If I cannot have my Evangelion or my Kino's journey on the sidelines, it's just I think I'll go insane. I will go insane from the lack of Ava, Ray, uh, Ayanami, Asuka goodness. You can't take that platter away from me. I'm like a obese person at a buffet. You can't just take my anime from me, otherwise I will sue you. I will sue your pants off and then possibly sell the pants on eBay, but God, the stabbing pains. I was talking to my tutor earlier today about it because it's kind of like, it was something that sort of freaked me out because in the last couple of days, all of a sudden, stab, stab, stab in the chest like every so often and then it'll go away. And I thought, well, maybe I should go see a doctor about this. And I started talking to numerous people about it and they were just like, well, are you used to this kind of like heightened stress? And I was just saying they're going, oh, well, no, not really. It's kind of something I'm just getting used to. I've been going to community college for a couple of years now, but you know, I haven't felt this much pressure to excel because right now we're basically in a big financial pit. So I have to find a way to dig myself out of it. I can't just rely on mommy and daddy anymore. There has to be a way to pull through, all the way through, and not just, you know, be a man child. I don't want to be a man child all my life. In fact, one day I hope to make the in a, a successful motion picture experience that will charm audiences everywhere, but that's just a dream of mine. To get into the film industry somehow, or something along those lines. You know, comic books, I was thinking about comic books for a long time there. But anyways, the key to a good future, pretty much, no matter where you go, it's always great to have some kind of awesome degree to flash up there. They're like, yeah, you know, we're not sure about this position. Oh, you have a master's in something. Well, why didn't you say so? People, you know, if you wear a nice suit and you look nice and you speak well, people will be willing to swallow any old bullshit you give them, even, like, if you could come up with these same sort of things without the education. 
because honestly, a part of the system, and let's just face this, isn't just getting you educated. It's basically seeing how many hoops you can jump through in order to get a degree. It's a test. They are testing you in order to see pretty much if you are a reliable individual, or at least that's the way I like to see it because honestly, some of these classes that I have to take, I would rather not take because I don't care about geography. I really don't, but I will stick with it. I will study it because I need to fill in that little tiny check mark next to the science th subject. That way I can move on. That way I can transfer to someplace nice. That's the only reason I ever take geography. Because honestly, oh my goodness. Physical geography, people. It's not just locating the United States on a map like I thought it was going to be. It's like rock shapes and ice lines and this and that and this and that. All these weird kind of scientific subjects and I'm terrible with science. Absolutely terrible. Took a basic physics class, I barely survived that. It's like you could see me writhing on the sidelines, kind of... Man, that was a horrible, like, semester with that physics and chemistry. Oh, 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 oh chemistry. Uh, I cry just thinking about chemistry. You can see how the emotionality coming out. But you see those beakers? Beakers are the most terrifying freaking things in the world. Those are, like, velociraptors for me. When I see a beaker... It just, oh freaking A. For one thing, I broke one once, so naturally I have this phobia. He was like, okay, go and clean the beakers. And I was like, oh, okay. Just shoved a little scrubby thingy in there. Break! And I just like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to break the beaker, even though you told us how to clean it without breaking it. I'm just not that smart. More than one person broke a beaker, by the way, so I didn't feel so bad. This was during the condensed semester, so no, no biggie. Everybody breaks a beaker every once in a while. You know, beakers are made to be broken. <laughs> I just got that image. You know that guy on the Muppets? Meep, meep. They named him Beaker. Actually, that's really clever because that's related to uh, science. Wow. I just realized that. Beaker? That's a pun. Wow. Muppets are really smart. Okay, I'll just leave it at that. I have been freaked out lately. Hopefully, I'll be able to get some kind of geeky subject out there in due time. But I better start uh, maybe getting some sleep and working on a study guide for my next quiz. So, adios and may the force be with you. Sayonara. And let me see, is there something cool I could add from like Battlestar Galactica or something at the end of like this geeky uh, goodbye quotes? Honestly, leave like little comments saying. What wonderful ways you can say goodbye in nerd language, because I want to know all of them. That way I can freak people out. All right.